you have a, a really special story to share here uh, of your beautiful 11 year old son, Aiden. Great Irish name, by the way. Good pick. Um, could you let me just hand the call over to you and tell us a little bit about some of the kind of before and after snapshots of what you noticed uh, using this technology with Aiden. So let me just hand it over to the two of you. Yeah, uh, first of all, thank you, Alan, for having us here. We're really happy to be here and to share our story with Aiden's story because we really want to support um, parents that are in the same situation because we know how challenging it is. Um, yeah, so. Very cool. Thank you. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Alan, for having us. Well, what can I start with? I mean, like, in it's been five months now. It's been a five-month journey, and... In short, he's not the same person anymore. Complete transformation in this experience. Um, and I'll start with communication. Um, five months ago, uh, the form of communication with Aiden was just three words. Eat, water, sleep. It doesn't go beyond that, you know. And he would invent his own words so to make people understand, which was also very difficult. So now... After five months of drinking ASEA, and he is actually speaking and formulating sentences and expressing his wants, his needs, you know. Um, so the, there's a two way dialogue, a, a conversation. It's no longer just a one way, and we just stand by until he's ready to eat or sleep or drink. So it, it's it's completely game changer in the way we interact together, you know. So, so to doubt, he must have been absorbing the language and processing you can't learn a language in four months i mean he's but he couldn't express it correct yes and so, you know he would understand everything you would speak to him but it was just like one way yeah Can now I ask you, as parents what's it like to be able to communicate with your 11 year old kid <laughs> it, it's incredible like to hear his it's voice. amazing like now he says good night and good morning like as simple as that or mom and dad like it's it, to hear his voice is it's nice it's like it's, it's such a huge change to see this like there's another person that is acknowledging everything in his reality and we're able to exchange this information together yeah beautiful so what else have you noticed um aggression for example um and it started to phase down in the last two months, I would say, pretty stable. Before that, um, it was very highly aggressive. So, like, you don't know when, like, during an interaction, you just might get a hook right in your face. Or or, or he would hit himself in, in the wall and hurt himself, but really hurt himself. So it was, like, always hurting himself because it was a frustration to express himself, you know. And that is gone. It's like... When he gets a bit frustrated, it just goes, it just is that. And now he says, I'm angry. So he's actually saying what he's feeling. So it's like, it's, a, it's like a completely different reality. Yeah. yeah now, something recently happened that was just so beautiful is that um, he's, so for example, also his focus, he's much more focused, much more attentive. And because of that, we're able to give him guidelines or instructions or to actually for him to learn something because before he couldn't he would be all over the place so now like he's coloring he's painting he's present he loves what he's doing and um he said i finished coloring which is also something beautiful to say i finished to, to see the, to say these full sentences and after that we look at the notebook and he had written the entire alphabet from a to z just by himself we haven't taught him the alphabet he was just watching it through you know videos and things like that he had just written it all by himself and that was a huge breakthrough for us yeah and you were saying to me that he was before when he would color in it was quite maybe violence not the right word but uh, there wasn't a lot of thought put into it uh, now he's like coloring inside the lines and you, you're telling me a little ladybug you know he's getting the little black dots uh, all accurately uh, so just a lot more focused, a lot more present. Uh, it sounds like his impulse control has improved a lot. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah much bit better as if he's able to really manage his emotions, manage his energy, and that maybe sometimes if he's really angry, he would just like just do that. So that's also massive that he's not expressing that, but instead he's holding it, he's managing it. 
Yeah. And another thing that we noticed linked to that is like, um, it was, he had no connection with emotional, like empathy or with himself or with others, you know, even if like someone would be crying, he'd be, he'd be laughing. Like that's how he would receive the cry. Yeah. Um, and, um, so even that can affect relationship, right? Like socializing or being, you know, knowing like, look, this is not okay. This is okay. And now he's, if, if you're crying, if I'm crying, he would come and just hug me and like, hold me. Like he's now understanding and identifying emotions outside of himself and with himself. Like Nida was saying, he's now able to say, I'm angry. I'm scared. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's another massive thing. So to have that emotional connection with your kid. Gosh, I'm I'm getting a little choked up about that. You know, that's that's pretty pretty special. I think it's something a lot of people, a lot of moms and dads take for granted, but it wasn't something that you were receiving back from Aiden. But now you are. Yeah, of course, because like if you leave, like for example, kids would would show with express. If you're leaving, they would cry, they would get sad. Like this was not part of our reality with Aiden. It was just no emotions. Like we're not able to know how he feels. Like that's. That's quite painful not to know how your kid is feeling so that you can help him. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that now, now it's opening up that possibility for us. Yeah. Very, very cool. Any other, any other things that you've noticed? Right. I mean, with his motor functioning, I mean, he has uh, trauma from a couple of things and one of them is water. Yeah. And he's actually, because of the, he's able to receive guidance. He's actually, he trusts the swimming instructor. And now he's underwater, holding his breath, doing like five breath strokes, and then he comes back up. So, the, like, I right. never thought that he would swim or he would like. Because to shower him, like just having the water on his head, which I'm sure a lot of parents can relate to that with some kids. Like they, they just he would just throw a tantrum. He wouldn't. It would be very difficult. So to see that ex that also pathway of like going from not having water in a shower to now swimming underwater, and. Yeah, and, so like, and in one of the most beautiful coastlines there in Mexico, <laughs> not not to enjoy the water would have been a real disappointment. But that's amazing. He can enjoy the beaches. He can enjoy the lifestyle that you, you have now without this fear in the water. That's beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. So like if I'll take communication, temperament, motor skills, it's like it's it's been a complete even I just thought of his, his teeth also, like before we had to sedate him huh? to get dental sur surgery, like this is horrible. Um, yeah, for his cavity. Um, and just now, like two weeks ago, he was there with the dentist. He got scared. He was able to show it and express it. And he received his dental surgery, like because he was understanding the dentist. He was able to interact, like receive data. Yeah. Yeah, just beautiful. So I, I want to stress, I mean, Aiden's 11, year, 11 years of age. And again, if anybody missed it, Aiden has only been using a Seer Redox now for five months. Five months. Five months. You've seen these. And I know you're a very holistic couple. You've tried a lot of things beforehand, supplements, energy work, a lot of things that, that maybe saw some incremental improvements. But along comes this technology. And in five months... Your beautiful boy is is changing before your eyes. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. We did see a lot of, of course, benefits in everything we've done, like supplements and energy work and healing. Um, but we always felt there was some ceiling. sort of ceiling. Like there was this next level of breakthrough. We like we just knew it, and that was another thing also of how we found Asia is just it was literally a prayer answered because we were we were feeling deep down. I think intuition, you know, like just feeling. There's something more for him. We knew it. Yeah. And um, three nights, just deep prayer, full body, knowing and intention. And there it was. That, that was the same week we found it. Yeah. So I've been doing this for 14 years. And the number of times I have heard that a seer redox has been an answer to a prayer. You, would, you may not be surprised at how many times I've heard it. But it is it is incredible where people have just reached a point and they just intuitively know there is something out there, this missing link. And uh, within three days, for me, it was five days for others, maybe a little longer. They stumble across this technology. Um, anything else you want to share with about Aiden? I think that pretty much covers it all. Yeah. 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 We're looking forward to the, the what's ahead because the progress is like it, there's still progress. You know, yeah. I, we're feeling it. Yeah. Uh, one thing I would share 
for any parents that are who have children on this is that the progress cannot be looking like uh i feel like a time of progress it's not looking like that because you're gonna have days where whoa you felt like it jumped light years then you feel like you have days went back 50 years and then there's it's it's so unknown it's because there's a Re, uh, recalibration happening inside them and in this recalibration you're going to be getting glimpses of everything yeah. but it still hasn't calibrated could you That's, share the first week uh, that Aiden share with our audience the first week that Aiden was on a CIA I think it's important to share that yeah um he would hate drinking it like we, there was going to be a fight with us like he would really <laughs> us both you know like you know but he eventually drank it. There was like some food motivation behind it. And it was a very emotional roller coaster. Actually, it wasn't just the first week, it was the first month. Mm -hmm. You know, like um, what I call them purges. Um, as the body's changing, yeah, the new things are calibrating, the old things go away. And in those, there was a lot of emotional instability in his case. Like he'd be feeling super depressed, super down, like. Like a, like a gray mouse that just wants to sit in like in this corner, mm -hmm. and then they, oh, vibrant, full of life, and it was just fluxing. And then like I think three four months into it, it started to kind of more, uh, yeah, it was getting tighter, yeah. tighter. The highs yeah. were getting lower, the lowest were getting higher. Uh, yeah. But there there would still be I think that's also another thing like not to lose hope because there would still be phases of like it feels like it's it's there's no progress. It feels like he's you know, going backwards, but it's not, it's just like one step backwards, three steps forward. Like yeah. that's kind of the momentum we felt. Yeah. I, I just, a, a real tangible example, very simple one of this was learning the alphabet. He would just, he was just stuck with A, B, C, D. That's it. E, A, then E goes A. And it was stuck for five, six, seven days. And then on the eighth day, that thing that happened that Natalia showed earlier, he had the whole alphabet written down. So you don't know how it's going to move. You just have to just keep keep going with the course and trusting the process because it's unknown. And, and you just get keep you keep getting surprised. It's just so beautiful. Every every day feels like a reward. And I think a lot of parents could relate with, you know, with children on the spectrum. It's like it's the little things are massive. Like for them, the little things are incredibly massive. Yeah, yeah. The, the things that many of us take for granted are our big wins even hearing your name mom dad those are big wins yeah really big very oh, very cool out here i'm just i really like this now he's also saying his own affirmations and intentions which are i trust i can express. express i am determined to talk and he just i taught him that and now he just repeats that every morning and every night by himself <laughs> and he's proud of it so yeah. keep doing that yeah. Very cool. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, gosh, I love Aiden's story. Um, Natalia, just kind of as we wrap this up, obviously you saw the transformations, Aiden. Uh, you've started using the technology yourself. Uh, can you share just very quickly here as we finish this up, kind of what you've noticed with the Sea Redux? Yeah, of course. I mean, I had a, I have a huge list of, <laughs> you know, benefits that I received, but just the main ones were um, energy. Um, I, the way I, I describe it is like, I, cause I always had trouble when I would take something external, like that was another thing with Asiya, like anything external, like, you know, Shilaji or matcha or something. I feel that it's bothering me in some way. And also I can feel that it's like highs and then, you know, the drop of like getting out of this from the energy level. But this one is like, as if it's like my natural energy, if I had it optimized, how would that look like? Mm -hmm. Like, that's how it's really feeling. Um, it's just, it, it was, it's just so beautiful. The other one is digestion, um, like digestion, like sensitivity to foods, no longer there, although I had super good diet supplements, all of that, um, digesting much quicker, no more bloating. Um, yeah, uh, uh hormone regulation, uh, no more PMS, no more cramps. Uh, yeah, just. I don't I have a lot. And also one that's just incredible, actually, with the Renew 28, the gel. Um, so my toenail completely ripped off like 10 years ago. And I tried everything to like get it to grow. It wouldn't even it would have like fungus, whatever it is. It wouldn't it wouldn't grow. And then just one month through with the gel, it's it was revived. Like I can't it was really a new 
<laughs> and you nailed just growing there and like pinkish and all of that so yeah this one I yeah I love it beautiful great great stories um guys I have to thank you for for coming on here and, and sharing your experiences as a family um I can tell that you're both wonderful parents uh very loving to your to your son and uh I don't know I get more emotional than you guys talking about your son um but I can tell that you've uh your son's in very good hands. So it's, it's, uh, it's incredible. Um, I do need to also say that uh, this technology is not a treatment or cure for any disease or medical condition. Uh, we're simply giving our body a resource of signaling molecules, these high energy molecules that can like wake up the cells, like a battery pack for the cells. And uh, it's astonishing what can happen. So listen, Natalia, Nidal, thank you so much for coming on here today and sharing your story. It's been very impactful. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. Alan. Thank you.